hello everyone so welcome back to another tutorial so this time I am going to do a VR shooting tutorial so these days I had a VR headset with me and so I thought of testing some VR stuff so first part so this tutorial series will contain three parts the first part would be how to grab this gun so as you can see here when I, uh, I can grab the gun and you can see the hand is fit to the gun as I am holding a real gun and also the next part is shooting with the gun so when I shoot the gun there will be a muscle flash and also in this place I hit there will be decals also if I uh, shoot on the bottles they will be broken into pieces uh, so yeah first part is grabbing the gun and next part is shooting mechanics and the third part is this uh, destructible bottles so the, those are the things I'm gonna cover and this is the final demo of what I could implement I'm trying really hard to aim there okay this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so at the moment we can grab the gun and then we can shoot we can do the shooting but uh, still uh, it's like a empty gun without ammo so now today let's see how to actually do the shooting part so I'm not going to do things like loading the magazine into the gun and stuff like that I only want to focus on the shooting part here so okay let me open the gun and here we already have this shoot event and all we do is play in this animation like this okay so now when we shoot uh, let me open the gun and here we have the so this is the nose of the gun is it yeah nozzle okay so here we have a custom uh, let's is this a socket yeah ah, okay so we can add the socket I'll go to the muscle and add socket let's call it nozzle okay now uh, uh, it should be rotated 90 degrees this way to face forward like this all right to see if we got it right let's go here and I'll add uh, cube that's too big Still too big. Okay, now let's attach this to the nozzle. Alright, we got it right. 
okay and also I have under particles a muscle flash so when I shoot I'll spawn emitter at location I'll use uh, this muscle flash like this and the location is from the gun mesh get socket location nozzle and the socket rotation Why don't we get the transform and the world space so we can have both location and rotation same time like this okay and then also let's play sound at location location should be the same like this and here I have this sound cue it's not a keyboard this one but uh, let me name it let's see come so I have that sound cue and I'm gonna play it like this shall we test those functionalities I don't think I heard the gun sound properly. Why is that? Huh. Okay. Volume is a problem. Oh, it should be okay. Right now the sound should uh, work fine so the next part is hitting uh, the impact so how do we know actually that we hit something so to detect the impact let's do a line trace like this and starting position is this of course and the end is from this rotation we can get forward vector multiply it by let's assume this bullet flies 100,000 units let's use the camera channel and let's draw debug lines so we can see the lines let's test
Okay, it is working. Now the next part is uh, to show the impact. We need to have some decal on the place that it hits. So for that, let's create a decal. I have already imported a decal material I created previously so I'm gonna use that um, mm, let's test it first decal it shouldn't be this big definitely it should be more like not that big that's also too much okay maybe two right and I'm gonna use this material M impact T care okay two by four by four and impact decal this is the decal I'm gonna use so here if we have if we hit something get this uh, break so we can get the hit impact normal mm, here Place decal. No, spawn decal attached. This is the hit hit component, and the location is this location, and normal is. Let's try this. Uh, back normal, normal. Now let's try this first and see if we get it. Otherwise, we can change it. And decal material is this one. M impact decal. Okay. Let's quickly test. No, it didn't work. Why? Ah, this should be the case. Two by two by four.
right it is working but for some reason I didn't see the decal on these objects I'm not sure why but uh, that's okay for now but I think I should increase the size a little bit because it was too small and also in that impact point I'm gonna spawn particle at location because I want to show the impact and for that I have an imp I have imported this impact dirt particle effect so let's play it here and rotation also let's use the same right let's test okay that is also working so next thing I want to do is how can I add some force or impact to the object we hit so for example if I hit one of these objects they should have some physics impact so what if How can I do this? Uh, uh, okay, let's open this blueprint and they implement this pickup factor. Okay, ah, uh, right. Let's uh, here. Let's implement a method called add impulse, and then. how do we let's give a parameter called force in type of vector right now here event at impulse and then can we Alright, then we can add impulse to this physics a static mesh component with this force like this. Alright, now here in the gun uh, to this heat actor we can add impulse using that interface we just defined like this. So the force should be uh, this is the direction. No, this is the direction vector. Multiply it by let's say thousand. We can adjust it if that is too much. Test.
all right it is working perfectly so now I can get rid of this line trace debug type I don't need it anymore okay okay so with that uh, I'd like to finish this part of the tutorial so next time I think I can work on something like uh, uh, destroyable objects like oh, like glass bottles that when I sh shoot them they should be broken into pieces so like that I want to try something like that in the next episode and thanks for watching and as always the project file will be available through the patron page so see you in the next episode goodbye